Good day, my name is Shol and I work for Micrographics and we can be found on the web at www.mgfx.co.za Right, so today we're going to show you how to create a railing uh, that follows the topography of your site. Um, in the past uh, you, could ha you could do it uh, using uh, a family template of uh, the uh, site element uh, and then you would create your uh, fence in that uh, site component family and then uh, duplicate that uh, on your uh, along your site. Now it's much easier in the re most recent uh, the releases of uh, Revit I think from uh, 17 or uh, 2017 or 2018. All right um, and uh, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to just show you how that's done. Now the first step is if I go to railings um, I notice that I don't have many here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, just load in or open uh, some of the uh, uh, UK uh, system families and then use them in my project. Alright, so go file open, go to the metric library, make sure it's a UK library and then within the uh, system family uh, folder there is a fence uh, drawing. Right, I'll open that. Now this drawing, because it's system families, um, they contain uh, some fences um, and there's uh, uh, different ones uh, ranging from a hedge to uh, wooden fencing to uh, uh, kind of uh, uh, road barriers. Right, now if you want those in your project, you can obviously copy and paste them uh, using Windows. But um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my project and then say use the uh, manage transfer project standards uh, from uh, within Revit. So transfer project standards and it'll ask me from which drawing I want to copy, what do I want to copy. Now I can specifically select the category, I'm just going to say uh, OK. So it's going to pull in all those items and the new ones only. Alright, so once that's done I'm ca uh, I'll go to my site view and within the site view um, I'll then go and draw in my rail. Now in this case uh, yes you go to the rail tool but you would just then select a fence that uh, looks good. Now I'll just use uh, post and boards and I'll then draw in the fence working uh, from this side going through to that direction and maybe uh, right, uh, I'll have to it's not uh, on chain but uh, let me just do that sort of thing All right now this has been drawn on a certain level so if I look at that uh, line or if I look at the it's drawn on level 1 if I finish that you'll notice that some of them are uh, hidden uh, with regards to the slope of the uh, site you'll see some of the uh, uh, rail or fence uh, protrudes here at the bottom Right, looking at the 3D and setting it to uh, hidden lines, you'll see that's what I have uh, uh, drawn. Now, as you notice, it's called all horizontal. So what I need to do is I need to select or uh, maybe uh, yeah, select that uh, item and then just simply say pick new host. And as I pick the um, uh, site, it then uh, shifts it up and uh, moves it into the uh, along the top of the site. Now some of the uh, elements uh, at the back there has been uh, uh, moved uh, or cut uh, or cropped by the uh, cropping region. I'll unhide the cropping region and then just uh, shift this uh, section box to uh, include what's happening at the back there. Right, um, as you can see uh, my object has then uh, followed the site and I'm very happy with that. It's very easy as you can see uh, to do that. Simply draw your you draw your item uh, um, as per normal perhaps in plan uh, then simply select the, the fence item and then say pick new host picking the topography thereafter. Right um, that uh, concludes then uh, this short video of how to create a fence that follows the topography uh, and, and, and the site.
Thank you for watching.